Welcome back to another video on systems of equations. Uh, in this video we're going to do, uh, we did this word problem already in another video, but we used row reduction. For those who don't use row reduction, don't know how to, uh, we're going to do this using the substitution and or the addition method, uh, depending on what it looks like. Okay, so the total number of visitors, wow, I spelled visitors wrong. Anyways, to Anderson Gardens, Okay, that's better. Uh, in Rockford for the week is a thousand, so there's a thousand people there. And a, if a child's admission is six dollars, and adult admission is eight dollars, and the total revenue from the admission is seventy-seven thousand one hundred fifty, how many children and how many adults did they have during the week? Okay, so there's two things we don't know, and there's two things you know the two things we're trying to find: how many children and how many adults. So let's label them with variables. So we have C equals the number of children and A equals the number of adults. We could have used X and Y, um, but I think it's easier when we have C representing children and A representing adults. The next thing is uh, figuring out the equations. Now these equations, we can call them like restrictions, or what's basically say, um, stopping us from saying, um, you know, 8 billion people went to Anderson Gardens. Well, no. A thousand people went to uh, Anderson Gardens during that week. So that's going to be one of our restrictions, or basically um, one of our equations. So if we know that only a thousand people went during that week, then we're going to have A plus C, adults plus the number of children, has to equal 1,000. So then we have what's the other restriction? Well, the money. How much money did we make? So if it's, how much is it per adult? It's eight dollars. Okay, eight dollars. I'll do it like that. Eight dollars per adult plus six dollars per child. And again, this represents uh, the total amount of revenue coming in from the adults. Because there would be, or say we took the example that there were two adults. 8 times 2 is 16, so we would make $16 from the adults. So now this represents the total amount of revenue from adults and the children, and I know that's going to equal 7,150. So we have our two variables, A and C. We have two equations, so that's enough for us to figure out what A and C are. Um, we've used all the information from up here, the 1,000, the 6, the 8, all right, so we're ready to go. Um, now, I'm going to actually do this both ways, addition and substitution, just in case, um, you know, you guys prefer one or the other. I'll do both. So let me scroll down. Okay. So, again, this is all I need right now. We're going to start with the addition method. So the addition method works like this. I need to add these two equations together so one of the variables cancels. Now I do that by making the coefficient in front of the variables the same, but with opposite signs. Because, you know, like 6 plus negative 6 is 0. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. Um, let's, multi let's cancel the c's. So if this is a positive 6, then I need this to be a negative 6. So let's multiply by... Uh, negative 6. So you're going to do that to everything in that equation. So you're going to get negative 6 uh, a minus 6 c equals negative 6,000. Okay, so again, I multiplied everything in the equation by negative 6. Uh, I haven't changed anything in the second equation, so that's just going to be 8. I'm going to drop the 0 .00 plus 6c equals 7,150. So now we're ready to add. So negative 6a plus 8a, okay, that's going to give us 2a. Now negative 6 and positive 6 cancel, so no more c's. And then negative 6,000 plus 7,150, 1,150. 
All right. I guess you don't really. You can put commas there. It's fine. All right. So then to solve for a, you would divide both sides by two, and you'll get the number of adults to equal 575 people. So now we got to figure out what uh, c is. So now what you have to do with the addition method is go ahead and plug back in a equals 575 into one of the equations up top. The first equation is probably the easiest. So if a plus c is going to equal 1000, and I already know a, that's 575, we can then solve for c. And that gets me the number of children. It's going to equal 425. Okay, so 425 children and 575 adults. All right, so let's quickly run through the substitution method. The first step in the substitution method is to pick one of your equations and solve for the variable. I suppose we can get rid of this. All right, so I'm going to pick the first equation, okay, because you want to pick equations that have a coefficient of 1. Now, both of these have a coefficient of 1, so it really doesn't matter which variable I solve for. So I might as well just solve for C. All right, so I'm going to get C equals 1,000 minus A. So I'm going to call that step 1. Now, step 2, for us to plug C equals 1,000 minus A into the other equation. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to get 8A plus 6. So now instead of C, C represents 1,000 minus A. So that's going to be 1,000 minus A, and that's supposed to equal 7,150. We're going to distribute the 6 through uh, into the parentheses. So we're going to get 8A plus 6,000 minus 6A equals 7,150. All right, collect like terms. So we have 8a and 6a, that's 2a, plus 6,000 uh, equals 7,150. Subtract 6,000 from both sides. And you're going to get 2a equals 1,150. Solving for a, we're going to get 575, which is exactly what we got in the addition method. All right, in order to find C, we're going to take this and plug it back into here. And by doing that, you'll get C, uh, which is 425.